Видеокурс Street Thai. Самооборона на улице в стиле Муай Тай. Узнай секреты самообороны и выходи победителем из любой уличной драки. Ссылка в описании под видео. That is gold. Pure gold. Undefeated, 12 fights, 12 wins, seven inside the distance. He won just three weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago, the vacant New South Wales state light middleweight title. He's, gonna, he's making a lot of facial gestures here. Didn't have a big shot camp. Uh, he's a shaman and a half. He actually had, he's 36, he actually had 300 Mu Thai fights before he went into <laughs> boxing. As a complete sign of disrespect, and he is going to want to punch two shades out of him shortly. And he's going to. Yeah, he is going to. The show's over there, the Montai. Yeah, the Montai show. grind. This is why he's doing that. Yeah, that was low. Very. That was low. It almost got his knee. <laughs> uh, shouldn't lie. Oh, big overhand right by it. Once a Muay Thai fighter, always. Yeah. Oh, let me go. Sound asleep. That's it. That's a big victory. Big punch. What? Now making his proud professional debut in the watching ring, ladies and gentlemen, see what he does and up against a guy who has won two out of two so far the truth is he's beaten absolutely nothing the body work from Flintoff let's not forget in all the hullabaloo well all his pals are here and his wife ringside as well oh dear with the right hand oh he's on steady legs and anxious looks from the family. Oh, shortening the gap, coming forward with his chin in the air. Good right hand from Flintoff there. And from Flintoff. Good right hand there by Flintoff. He turned from the core. I don't think we'll hear the final bell. <laughs> good right hand, good right uppercut. And there goes the final bell. Tread on the feet. No. Reprezentuje w wysoką formę, no naprawdę ten ostatni jego pojedynek z Nadziem Aguilera, no to był pokaz boksu. Aguilera został zmaltretowany, przerwał pojedynek w czwartej rundzie, no ale niesłusznie, no. Panie Andrzeju, Fakete nie umie boksować. Zadawać ciosów, ani nie umie przyjmować, nie wiem co on w tym ringu robi. Absolutnie gość nieskoordynowany, Sergiej Werwejko, jeśli nie chce tego pokazywać wszystkim, powinien go szybko znakomitować, tak jest. Drugi knockdown. No i koniec, ja już myślałem, że nie, nie, nie będziemy sprowadzać do Polski. Tonight is his pro debut, hailing from Fenton, Michigan. Let's hear it for Pat Puerta. And uh, he is making his pro debut. He only had three amateur fights. He did win all of those. And he is a brawler. What he lacks in skills and experience makes up for a lot of hustle. And he's hustling into this one. The odds this one won't hear the final bell of the fourth round. Warta oh, and uh, may be able to run into a shot by Bailey, but Bailey right now trying to collect himself. Doesn't want to get into this slugfest, but may be drawn in. Oh, crunching left and a right by Bailey. And 
Costa is down here in round number one. No need to count. Seconds in. Yeah. Ron Cunningham, the ref, wisely waves it off immediately. Boom. And then watch for the left cross. From Robert Bailey, just on the side of the jaw. Stands Huerta on his head. Yeah. His professional boxing record is one win and two defeats, Edward Rackley. It is for a man who's fought all his career as an amateur and ended his first two professional fights before the end of the third round. And that's what Cedric Rose did. And we had Cedric on his second uh, pro fight in one of those knockouts against not a great opposition, as it doesn't look like Rackley. Oh, dear. Rackley walked into that and went down briefly. It will take the count of eight from the referee, Dickie Cole. Right now, it looks to me like he's going to do away with Edward Rackley as quickly as he has his other opponents. Rackley keeps on coming with those long arms. You talk about throwing a punch from Australia. He's throwing his from some other planet I don't know. And Edward Rackley is not the most stylish fighter we've ever seen here on ESPN. I think we can say that. He's down again. That'll be the second count, and that'll be enough for the referee, Dickie Cole. He has seen enough. Rackley is taken out by Cedric Rose who ends it very, very early. It's Captain America. We're, we're Unbelievable. I have, I have honestly now, June 15, 2007, I have seen everything. And here comes Burke for the third time. We'll see if it's the charm and see if we can't get to business here on a Friday night fight night. On well, Crystal Clear Sports. He's got the supporter. He's going to stay with. He's going to stay with the uh, boxer brief look, I guess tonight. Very interesting. I. You know what, Doug? This might be a first in professional boxing. All right, here we go. We're ready to rock. Let's send it up to Dan Cole, the common man. Dan. Fight fans, we apologize for the momentary wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> in our blue corner, wearing comic book pattern trunks. He weighed in at 181 and one half pounds. He has a professional fight record of no wins, two losses, one draw from Davenport, Iowa. Please welcome Brendan Burke. Brendan Burke. So we're set to go. Phil the Drill Williams, 3 0. All three of his wins by way of knockout. And Brandon Burke, zero wins, two losses, one draw. And a heck of a looking ring attire, oh. and we're underway. Here we go. Oh, oh. Right out of the gate. The fastest knockout I've ever seen in my oh, life. My. He's he's not going to make it. And one, one second, second knockout just round. been submitted to Fight Facts as the perhaps the fastest knockout in boxing history. Here comes the charge. Here's the shot. Goodbye. <laughs> foot tall 98 and a quarter pounds don't sneeze teddy she may go remember only two minute rounds in women's boxing cordova wearing the gold and black trunks young in the blue young is a southpaw and a southpaw that might have some moxie but you can see technically not very adept well, if she stops hopping, I'll tell you what stance she's in. Needs a jab, puts her head down, and just swings forward. Who would put somebody like Unity Young into a match on national television? She turned her back. Allow herself. Hey. Listen, this fight's going to be over in just a few moments. She's an amateur, a rank amateur. She no, shouldn't have a wrong. license to be a professional, this unit of young and blue trunks. Because I mean, don't get me wrong. She's got plenty of heart to climb those steps to come out of the locker room. That's it. And Fight's over. Come. And somebody with heart just threw a white towel into the ring. This record, 13 wins. All wins coming by way of knockout. 
a national champion and a Latino American champion and international champion for CMB, Del Ciudad de Mexico and Mexico. Please welcome Jorge Kawagi. Pero sakit to, medyo methodical ang lumaban. Medyo awkward, ano? Yeah. He has not fought for 10 years. Oh. One punch. Left foot. Oh, no. Money wala ka. Money wala ka. Nacho Beristain said, Kawagi is a fraud. Pero awkward si Multok. Elbow na tumatawa. Ayun. Ito na, sunod-sunod na. But believe it or not, he's, he's a... He, he throws punches in slow motion. But he's a lawyer. He's a law graduate. Law graduate. Fuck! Fuck! because Olivas is just getting pummeled. Wearing the blue trunks, white trim, he weighs 177 pounds. He is making his professional debut from Shelby, North Carolina, Brian Sutherland. Sutherland. And his opponent making his pro debut, Brian Sutherland from Shelby, North Carolina, in the blue trunks. And Brian Sutherland knows nothing about boxing. He comes to this, he got into boxing because he was a street fighter, and he figured might as well get paid for boxing or for fighting. And uh, you, you can see the way he's throwing his punches. No form at all. On the inside, Brian Sutherland. Actually, it's Ken Kenny Rainford on the inside. With the straight punches. Watch how Brian Sutherland just tries to throw anything that he can, flailing at his opponent. Turn pro with a third round knockout over Aaron Nance last November. He gets the right hand and that stuns. Brian Sutherland is down. And that's it. Brian Sutherland didn't even know how to throw a punch. And here's what happens when you get in there with a real professional. The overhand right, that's all she wrote. Thank <laughs> you. 